inside. It's dirty inside. Where are we, guys? Where are we? Oh, oh, Caleb. Buy a Honda. Hello, everybody. We are here at the good old Buy a Honda. Look where we at today. What should we fishing today? Buy a Honda. We ain't got to go far. We got to go right here to the bridge, and that's it. There's a lot of boats out here. We gotta find a spot. So, a lot of boats. See on the boats out there? All across. So we gotta go find a spot now. Get away from everybody and fish our own space, you know? So, a lot of boats today. Like a good day. They say it's gonna be like moderate chop or something like that, but they lie. It's light chop. Um, let's see if we can catch. Hope we get on some good ones today. Hope we get on some big boys and find something good out here today. All right, guys, so we'll see you when we get out here set up. And good day to be at Bayer Honda. All right, let's go. You got killed. Thank you, drag. Keep going, keep going. Get him, Caleb. Wine, Caleb, wine. Whoa, grouper. It's in the boat. But it can't because oh never mind. Uh hold this. Watch. I can touch this with my hands, right? Yeah. Hey, hey. Come back for the rest of it. Hey, mommy, can you get oh, see him. See him? Yeah. You see him right there? No, oh, I see him. Let's kill him. Let's go back. Wait. Oh, no, no, no. oh, she's up. Sorry. So, I want it to record. It? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I, I recorded him having it. So no, on his camera. Oh, I know, but did you not record the whole thing on his camera? Like yes, but he has to show putting it back. Whoa, whoa, I saw its teeth. Yeah, me too. I don't saw grab. its tongue. Don't You're gonna bring him on board? No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't bring grab. him on board. He's too. He's too feisty. He's too big. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Might be our mascot, but he's too big. Go ahead and start the fishing adventure with a grouper and the yeah, barracuda. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. That's how. That's how we we start off strong and off strong. Okay, I don't know about the end, but we start off strong. <laughs> Double duty. Start off strong. Double duty. 
So I'm strong. We finish we, strong. We do. We do good in the first half. I don't know about the second half, but we we, we ain't there yet. I come back to you. That's why you, That's all you need to know. That's why you gotta watch to the end. Find out if we if we do good. And most of the times we do. All right. We out here at by a Honda. We were fishing at the bridge originally. I think there's some type of competition going on. That's what we think, because there's all these boats out here fishing for tarpon, I think. Okay. We got some, uh, we out here by a Honda. It's called a Kuda, uh, called a Grupa. And so, uh, you know, we're gonna uh, keep going at them until we get something to take home. I think there's a fishing tournament going on over there. Mm -hmm. We're kind of wrapping it up, so we're gonna take their spot when they leave, okay? So, We'll see you guys in a minute and get another fish. Get back to you. Wait, 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 a wine. It's a, it's a goofy chub. It's a big fat chub. Food was so big he couldn't even stay on line. He's like 95% doo doo. That's all they are. They're like full of poop. Chubs are just nothing but poop. Are they invasive? I hope. I hope that gives me reason to kill them all. Full of poop. I cause a scene. I don't. I don't know what. I cause a scene. I cause a scene. I don't know what about drugs. I, I, I massacre the whole chub population. Get rid of all those fish. I kill so many chubs. I have to do a formal apology on the internet. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. Yeah. They're, they're, they're junk bitch. I, I, don't like, yeah. I don't like messing with them. They poop everywhere. Dirty the boot up and all kinds of crap. As soon as you touch them, they start pooping. Yeah, it's everywhere. You try to fillet them to use them, it's just poop all inside of them. Oh, yeah, we catch it's them. like they die and just poop inside their insides. Yeah. Yeah. It's like poop inside of them. Yeah. It's like they defecate themselves on, like, on command. I guess you get caught by a hook. If somebody put you like, take, take, I mean, you, like, take a trailer, man, <laughs> you start defecating yeah, too. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I probably start pooping too. I do everything. I start pooping, peeing, throwing up, all of it. I let every bodily fluid I have out. Daddy, can I come on that side? Yeah. Why? Why? If somebody put a like a hook in like my food, if somebody put a hook in my bowl of noodles and I and I get caught, I start pooping all over the place. Ain't nobody gonna catch me. Nobody's gonna want me after that. I wish they would throw me back. I would do Nobody's gonna fillet me. I'm sitting the whole time. Not even solid poop, too. It's like wet and soggy. All of it. <clears throat> like watery poop. Junk so watery. It's like, it's like leaking out. You think I'm peeing from my butt. That's how much you... Doo doo like green too. I make sure my diet's all all plant based. My diet, my diet. I got that keto in me. That's, that's what that is. That's beans, collard greens, all of it. So we still here by a hundred. Still here by a hundred. Okay, I've always fixed it. Catch some fish. We haven't really gotten many bites yet. We got the cooler and the. My game castle. The little group of Caleb Park. Yeah, Caleb called a chug, which I don't want. Yeah. And all these boats out here, they're fishing like that whole tarpon run. You know, tarpon run is where the tarpon migrate from the west to the east around this time of year. So, this is uh, this is what those guys are doing. Here. These are charter boats out there. Hmm. I asked one of the guys, they're a charter, a charter, charter boat. So, some of the boats look the same. They are charter boats. Yeah, it's like companies. The tarpon run thing. So tarpons hang hang on the bridge. But you, the shallows over there. But you can't keep them though. So I'm like, oh, it's just they're taking people out to go catch them. Yeah, they're taking people out. Oh, okay. So they hang on the tarpons are hanging on the, on the bridges. It's shallow. And they fish. They're both fishing for right here, tarpons. So uh, 
when we got here, there was a whole mess of them. Yeah. I, I, I couldn't get close to the bridge because we had to go to the shallow spot. Now we're like, what, 22 feet? Yeah, they fizzled it, it, out now. This thing, get, this this area gets like 30 feet. And in the middle of it, it's like 30 feet. Yeah. So I didn't want to get too close to people, so I decided to fish out in the middle. Man, I've been to the edge, there's nothing. Nice. So right now, the fish is not really biting. I'm thinking of plan B. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Maybe we could try back on the other side of that bridge, the the old bridge, or we're back over there because we've caught some stuff over there. We've caught like hog snappers and yeah, mangrove, not mangrove, um, mutton snappers over there. So it's just that there's a lot of chubs here. Like look at all those chubs in the water. You can probably see them all swimming right here. All that's chubs, just straight back, just chub. So it's like. Only a couple, but they did wonders and caught that food. Caught that that. The cuda. Put put the cuda on. We put the the balahu on the cuda. What? We put the balahu on the line and threw it out, and the cuda bit it in like seconds. Came back, bop, took it one time. I don't know if I have any more. I had a couple. Of it's that. The funny thing is that here in Bayou Honda. I've never seen uh, Balahu in the water. Really? I've never seen Balahu either. I've never seen Balahu either. It's, it's always chubs. I think I see chubs here the most. Chubs is like a basic species. So I've I know. Fish. For like all the years we've been fishing. I've never seen a chub until we started I've this never YouTube channel. I've never seen chubs until, yeah, until we started this fishing channel. There's so many. So many things. Everywhere you go, there's chubs. It's like a Tired of. I feel like I see them more, honestly. I, I think I see them more around like like either like the bridges, like like here by a Honda or at Long Key. I don't really see them that much in the Keys. Not too much, except for like maybe like when we go to like the edge or like deeper water. No, I don't see them in deeper water. Really? No, we don't see, see them much in deeper water. I see them more in like like around bridge areas. They're always like around the bridges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is this? A freaking snake. A snake? What? It's an eel. eel. You think he tastes good? Oh no, he wrapped this up all my lines. That food drops down. <laughs> you think he tastes good, bro? He's still trying to bite the, yeah, the, bait. the bait. At he least he's like, all over my line. busy. Leave me alone. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, ah. Oh, he just made it worse. Don't bring him over here, please. He's got a mouth. So it's an eel. <laughs> Fish your family catch everything. Eels. The second, this is like the third time you caught an eel. Not like that, but like you caught that that green eel on the edge. Oh, he hooked himself. You caught a green eel on the edge. You caught like a little black one one time in the shallows, and now you caught this guy. I don't even want to get close to him. We got more hooks. Chubb, get him. <laughs> get him, Chubb. Get him. Sick him. You yourself. Yeah. You did this to yourself, yeah. man. We didn't even. All you had to do was eat it. You ain't even got it. I'm gonna see what I'm you. What do you mean? What do you mean you get I don't know if it's poisonous. I don't know if it could shock you. That's electric eels, though. How do you know it's an electric? How do you know we don't have electric eels? You know what an electric eel looks like? Yes, I know. Uh, really? What does it look like? I've been to man, shut up. You ain't. Try to say he been to the zoo. I know it'll let you. I've been to the zoo. Thank you, Michael. Oh. Okay. Yeah, Troy's got that. Maybe keep his try to keep his body in the water and lift up the the weights and just cut the hook off. Cause I don't think you're getting that. Sick him, Chubs. We'll just ignore the electric eel for now, or whatever. I'm name him Gary. We're ignoring Gary for now. No, I'm not ignoring Gary. I get him off the line. Oh, okay, well I'm ignoring Gary. If I can't see him, he ain't here. Oh, I don't know if Gary's still with us. I don't. I don't think if you keep slamming Gary, he's gonna get off the line. I think Gary's just getting a little more mad. Daddy, I don't even think Gary's conscious right now. Oh no, Gary's white. Hey. So many. 
There's way too many chubs here. We can't. They like eating up all the. Hopefully the chubs attract something bigger. You know, something hungry. I mean, then again, nothing really wants to eat the chubs because if we don't want to eat them, I doubt any other fish wants to actually eat the chubs. Sorry. Sorry. Look at them. Look at them. This hole's stuck right now, so. Huh? Grass. That's what pulling up the concrete. Or oh, not concrete. You get the point. You see a monster come up. You start feeling the boat shake. <laughs> Feel something rise. Oh shoot! All right. I feel pulling demons up. I feel pulling Jesus from the grave. I don't see anything. It's a stick. I don't know what that is. All those fish that you just moved. What is it? A rock? You pulling up a rock? Caleb caught a chub. Big fat boy. Look at him. He pooped through his gills. Look at him. Stoop. Pooping. He's already pooping through his gills. He got poop seeping through his gills. He's getting ready. Look at him. Dang, look at him. Stoop. Poop coming out of his mouth, his gills, all, his, everywhere. Eyes. Oh, he does his poop. Look at, look, there you go. All these fools do is poop. That's all they're good at. No offense, man. Actually, no major offense. You couldn't poop all over the boat. No wonder nobody wanted to catch you. That's my third fish. Second. It's Caleb's third fish today. He's caught two chubs and one grouper. Look, look, dang, watery diarrhea. Like, you can't stop for a second? Like, what are you eating? What are you eating that you poop that much? Huh? You can cut them up, really? You cut them. I don't even want that thing in the boat. I'm gonna cut them up. This is where I saw these. Oh no, someone tried to catch me. Uh, well, the thing is, ain't nothing that's biting me. Yeah. So, I'm gonna cut that chub up. Try and throw him out. Throw him out and use him. All ain't nothing right. that's biting, so might as well do something. Mm -hmm. Leave it I up. see some tarpon rolling back here, but. We ain't come ready to tarpon fish, you see. All these boats over here are tarpon fishing. Yeah, all these boats back here, they all come here for the tarpon season that started. A whole bunch of them leave, a whole bunch of them come back, so. Uh, we're gonna sit here and try to, try our best to get some. We ironing out the details. Came all the way to Bahia Honda, get something to eat. So far we have nothing. We caught a cuda, a little grouper. A couple of chubs, those stupid chubs, but yeah. let's see if we can uh, get on something nice. Alright, so get back with you in a minute. Look, yeah. Same motor and everything. Look, they, they added a, they added a little, that's our old boat right there. They added, they added a, put a power pole. Yeah, you see that? They have a power pole. And a trolling motor, but that's our old boat. Yeah. It's the same boat. Yes, it is. Same boat. It's the same one. Same brand, same motor, all of it. Two no. stroke and everything. Of those. They didn't make 14. 14,000 million of those boats.
for a new place to anchor because we haven't been catching anything recently. So. We're gonna try here. See how it goes. Anchor? Yeah. Oh, okay, I was filming. Alright. Are you on the bridge? Well, we keep poking around, see if we can find something around here. I haven't found anything yet. Hold on, no, wait. Pick it up. I want to get further back. Uh. We're further in the middle. But we keep poking around until we find something. Find where they're biting at. It's like uh, maybe like 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock maybe. It's the middle of the day, so I know the bite gonna stop, slow down. I just wanna poke around a little bit, see if they're biting somewhere. We caught that barracuda the first, first time we threw out, so. Right in the middle of here. I'm keep looking around. I left, I left my glass in the car, so I can't, I can't, I'm not polarized. No, I'm not polarized, I can't see right. I'm not polarized today. I'm gonna stay in the middle, it's about 24 feet here. Stay out here in the middle. All right, drop it down. Twenty-five feet. Well, at one point, it gets thirty feet, and then it gets shallow again. You have to go over there; it gets shallow. But which direction is the way you think? It's that way. Out there. All right. We get anchored up. We start catching some fish. We'll get back with you. It's 
sucks. I'm gonna catch a lot today. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the, the weather or the, the water, but I don't know. Something wasn't rocking with us today. But the bad days make you appreciate the good. We're still alive and we're still fishing, so that's what matters. As long as you got those two things, thank God, like, we're working, you go well. Nobody knows what I'm saying, so the other guys will find out when, I'm, when, when it's being edited. Hi, hello. We may have not caught much today, but there is always another day. And we here at Baia Han. Today wasn't the best day, but not every day is going to be great. You know, we will. It was an okay day. Today was an okay day. Where? I don't think it's shallow. It might be shallow over there. Well, I don't know. We might head back in. We might look for a new spot. We'll find out. Looking around, trying to see where we can find some type of fish. Because all that we really caught today was those, those stupid, stupid chubs and that huge barracuda that was like the monster of the day barracuda and then uh uh uh, uh the caleb caught a, a goliath grouper i think small one but still it's pretty impressive i haven't seen one of those in a long time except for maybe the the thing we caught in the last video maybe you should go check it out haha <laughs> maybe you'd find out what we caught but you gotta watch the end of the video to actually see I, I didn't even see and I was there. I fell asleep. I was asleep. I was, I was out cold. Cold. I was out cold. No, that's an RV. That's an RV, guys. That's a camper right there. Maybe the RV and camper have multiple names. Oh, the camper and that's an RV? I don't know. Yeah, smaller one. Smaller one. That's RV. I remember because of Ben Ten. His granddad lived in RV. We're under the bridge. Maybe there's possibly something here. I don't know. It's rougher over here, and the middle is okay. All right, everybody, we're gonna head out of here. Uh, we didn't do that well today. It's the first time, and ever since we've been coming to Bayah Hondo, we've been here probably like how many times we've been here? Probably? Maybe five, six times we've been here. It's the first time we ever got here, and we caught not much, we didn't catch many fish. Or we ain't catch any fish to take home, so. Can't say we ain't catch nothing. Can't say we catch nothing. We got a cooter and a little grouper and a okay. couple of chugs, but. It's a little variety. Yeah, it, it, you know, it's okay, but I wanted to come here and bring some home, but so. Uh, first time we ever came here and did this, but I'm not gonna give up on buying hot honey yet, because it always produced for us, so. But we'll get out of here. Don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, share this video with everybody, you know? And uh, thanks for watching. See you on the other side. Peace. Hello, everybody. I just want to give a quick uh, uh, demonstration on how to put a, your trailer, your boat back on your trailer. First, if you look at the trailer, I didn't back the boat all the way down, the trailer all the way down in the water. I left the, the bunks almost half out of the water. And the trucks is way up on the ramp. And I, I, the, truck, the truck tires are not touching touch the water. A lot of people make the mistake of a lot of people make the mistake of putting their truck too far down and they get into the algae and start slipping and the tires start spinning. And that's how you lose traction and you go back backwards, okay? So you ever um, want to know how to get the boat out of water without slipping and without without uh, risking pulling your whole truck in the water? 
leave your bunks halfway out of the water. And leave your tires out of the water completely. Okay? And drive your boat on. So that's how you do it. You want me to show you how you do it? I'll show you right now. I've done other videos on the same thing, but I can't stress it enough because so many people don't know how to do it. And they still make the same mistakes. The boat's going in the water, you lose your whole truck, your trailer, everything. Not in the water, you lose all the money. Here we go again. Just pushed off a little bit, just get me off the dock, and we'll grab our boat and grab our truck. Real slow. Line up, line up, line up the bow of the boat. I'll put the put the two bumps in the middle. Bobby call time. Straighten up. Real slow. Thank you.